Hello friends, this video on hydrocarbons part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now I will take some numericals. You have to write the structure of different isomeric alkyl groups corresponding to the formula C5H11. And we have to write the IUPAC group, the alcohol obtained by attaching OH group to this different chain. So I have C5H11. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Correct. So first is, I have to see in how many ways I can arrange this. And then once I have arranged this, I have to see in how many ways I can attach alcohol to it. Correct. So if I have arranged, so one I like, one option I have to arrange is this in the straight one. Right. And the next option I have to take is, uh, instead of 5, I take 4 carbon. And then I will put 1 carbon here. So this is 1 isomers. The second is instead of uh, one, yeah, if I put here also, it's all same. So there's the only one possibility of the, uh, uh, this one, where you can have only one possibility of scenario where you have four carbon in the straight chain and one in the branch, correct? And what else you can have? I think uh, one you can have is with three carbon in the straight chain and two here. So these are the three possible isomers of butane, correct? Because this is, sorry, uh, this is pentyl. So these are the uh, three possible isomers of pentane, one, two, three. Now let's see for this, how many possible option of addition of OH group is there. So one option is I can attach OH group in the terminal one. So this will be one option. The other option is instead of the terminal one, I can attach OH group here. Second one, correct. Third option is I can attach at this position. Fourth is this position, but this is all same. If you take this or this, it's all same, right? If you attach here, let's suppose one OH group, then you start numbering from here, then this guy and this guy will be same, right? So the fourth doesn't make sense and this also doesn't make sense. If you attach the last position, right? This uh, particular structure will be similar to the first structure, right? This guy will be pent and one ol. Let me write the name also. Pent and one ol. This guy will be pent and, pent and two ol. Second position. This guy will be pent and three ol. So these all will be three my uh, OH group for this particular scenario. I have a straight chain of uh, pentane and I can attach OH group in three different possible scenarios. The next is I'll take this guy. So let me take this guy. There is one, two, three, four, and here is my C. Correct. Now let's see where all I can attach OH. I can attach here. So let me attach here. Then let me see if I can attach any other places. I can, can I attach here? Will it be a different carbon or different compound? Yes, it will be. So let me attach here also. Can I attach here? Yes, if I attach there, it will be different. Can I attach here? Yes, there also if you attach, it will be a different uh, compound altogether, right? So let me do that also. So let me attach here. In one case, let me Attach here. Correct. So all these five compounds which you got is different. Correct. So I have attached OH to different carbons. Correct. Can I attach here? I can, but in this case, these two will be same, right? If I attach here or here, because if you see, this is my one branch, this is my one branch. So in that case, I'll take this as a branch and this will become my alkyl group. So these are my four possible options for this scenario. Let me name it. So if I start with this, this will become my carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3 and carbon 4. So this will become 2 methyl, right? So it will be 3 methyl, 3 methyl, butane, 1 or correct? This guy, if you see, I will start numbering from here only. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 
two, three, four. If you change the color, so this will be one, two, three. So this will be three methyl butane two O. So now it will be one, two, three, four. If I number in this fashion, this will become three three, right? So if I number in this fashion, this will become two two. I'll number in this fashion. So this will become two methyl butane two O. This if I have to number in this fashion, one two three four, correct? Because if I number this fashion, I'll get one two three plus four. It is seven. Because the third I have methyl and fourth I have alcohol group. If I number in this fashion, I'll get I'll get alcohol in the first position. And this is in the second position. The one plus two is that is three is less than. Three plus four seven. So I'll number in this fashion. So this becomes uh, two methyl butane one all. Correct. So these are my compound. Now let let's take this scenario. So if I take this scenario, I can attach. Oh, I said any place. It's all same. Right, it's all symmetrical, all same. So I'll get only one option. So this will be one, two, three. So this will become two, two dimethyl, one, two, three with a probe at one position. Four. Four by one. All same. Correct. So I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight possible structures. I got three possible structure for this guy, uh, pentyl group, and then each of these structures I saw that in the in this structure I could get one uh, structure of phenol. In these I got so many actually. So in the first only I got three. And in the branch where I got again four, and here I got one. Total, I got eight structures. Let's take one example where to find the IUPAC name of this compound. So let's see this compound. Let's draw this actually. I have one carbon here. Then I have three carbon attached to it. One, two, and three. Three methyl group attached to it. Then I have one CH two. Then we have one carbon. And again, we have three methyl group attached to it. This is my structure. Correct. So let me number this now. This is carbon one, two, three, four. Five. So what will be the name of this? At two, I have two methyl group. At four, I have two methyl group. It will be two, two, four, four. Four methyl is but tetramethyl. And then you have one, two, three, four, five carbon in the chain. So it's spent. All single bond. Maintain. So you have discussed all these uh, IUPAC nomenclature in the previous chapters. I will not go deep into it. So if you have doubts in nomenclature, you can watch the previous video chapter on this. The next is this guy C S three two C and C two H five. That means I have one carbon here, and two methyl group attached here. And I have two ethyl group attached here. There are also two ethyl group. This is my structure of the carbon, right? So two methyl group and two ethyl group. So let's find the longest chain in this. Longest chain to me looks like this chain, the longest chain with one, two, three, four, five carbon, right? So we can name it. We can start the numbering from the uh, One, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five. In both, both cases same for me because in both cases at third position only I am getting methyl group. So at third position I have two methyl groups. So it is three, three, dimethyl, and it will be pentane. Correct? Three, three, dimethyl, pentane. Let's take the next numerical. You have to again write the structural formula for this compound. So it is three four four tetramethyl heptane. So first draw heptane, seven carbon. One two three four five six seven. This is the draw. Let's get the numbering. 
six, seven. And then it says at three, four, four, five. At three, I have one. At four, four, that is I have two methyl. And at five, I have one. Tetramethyl, right? So at three, four, four, at four I have two, at five I have carbon. So I have these carbons. Now let me just put hydrogens. So now if you see what I have done, I have just put the hydrogens just to make sure that all the carbon is tetravalent. So we have seen this kind of examples in the past chapter also where we have drawn the structures. The next is 2,5-dimethylhexane. So first draw hexane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Number it. And at 2 and 5, there is a methyl. Right? You just add methyl at 2 and 5 with my structure. Let's put the hydrogen now. Let's take few more numericals. We have to write the structure of the compounds and to tell why this name is incorrect. So it is 2 ethyl pentane. So for this, let's draw 5 carbon in the chain. It's pentane. And let's number it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At second position, I have to add 2 ethyl, right? So let me add two common here. This is what the structure says. Correct? Now let's see why the name is incorrect. So if you see now, the longest chain is not 5, but it is 6. Correct? So if you see the longest chain is this guy. This is my longest chain. So it is not 5, it is 6. So in this, if you see this is the longest chain, and let me number this now. So my number will be 1, 2, this becomes 3, 4, 5, 6. And now if you name it, this becomes 1, 2, 3, at third I have methyl group. So it will be 3 methyl. And then I have 6 carbon, 3 methyl, hexane. So what you have to do? You have to just see from a, even from the incorrect structure, you should be able to draw a correct structure. So even from, even from the incorrect name, you should be able to do a, a draw a correct structure. Correct. But from the correct structure, if you give an incorrect name, it's difficult. So from the incorrect name, you can easily get the correct structure. So once we have the structure, you should know how to write the correct name and give it a given correct name. The next is 5-ethyl, 3-methyl, heptane. So let's draw heptane. 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is heptane. And then it says 5-ethyl. So let me just number it 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7. Right? So now at uh, third position there is a methyl group and at fifth position there is a ethyl group. Now just try to name it. So now if you see this is the name of this compound will be either you can name in this fashion 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7 because this is the longest chain actually or you can name in this fashion. Let me change the color. So it can be either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if you name in this red ones, the name is same what you got, 5-methyl, 3-methyl. But what is, this is wrong, why? Because E comes before M, right? Alphabetical A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. So E will be given priority, so it should be, E should get the less numbers, right? So if you, if you use this convention, the red ones, you get the same name, 5-methyl, 3 methyl heptane. If you use the green one, what you get is at uh, 3 I have ethyl, so 3 ethyl, in 5 I have methyl, 5 methyl, and heptane. So we have seen that in the, in the naming convention in the last chapter that ethyl should get the least number because E comes before M. So this is the correct name. This is my correct name. This is incorrect structure. This is incorrect numbering. So this is my incorrect name and this is my correct name. 3 ethyl, 5 ethyl, heptane. Correct. So now we have learned about the alkanes. We know what the alkanes is. We know how, how to write the names of the alkanes. We know isomers of alkanes. We know a lot, lot about alkanes. Now what we should do is we should know how to form alkane. How to create alkane. Right. So let's. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, 
get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.